make your curling club the next curling stadium. Yeah, for sure. And it's and like it's a great thing that you can bet any time mm. during the game, right? It's draw yeah, out betting. obviously, but yeah. when I was at the Briar with Cooey, I'm sitting there and pull up my app. So well, they have all the, the odds on there, but they don't factor in like it's pre me. So they don't factor in who wins drop the button or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's so whoever wins draw the button, you just start betting yeah. on all those teams. <laughs> Because Drew usually wins. 60, like 60, 60 already. 60% of the time you win.
people are seeing this right now, right? No, no, I don't know. I don't. No, I don't think so. No. I'd be staring at Matt right now. Yeah. <laughs> I got 150, 155 people watching. You know. <laughs> well, they might be seeing that though. They might. Well, I guess I could pull it up on my phone. That could be another thing that we do for upcoming events: is be like, "Hey, your practice starts here, but game time starts here." Yeah. So they know that five minutes to that's when live stream goes on. Now, John. Morning, everyone. We've had some uh, technical difficulties this morning, but I think we're up and, and running now. Here with semifinal action at the Alberta Curling Series in Leduc. Team Schwaller versus Team Epping. Picking it up uh, at the end of the first end here. I'm Ted Appleman, and with me is Don Bartlett. What have we got here, Donnie? Oh, they're playing a the runback. Team Epping just made a great hit and roll. It's now. Uh, Schwaller's trying to make the run back and everything goes well. He's buried. Oh, nice. Is he going to stay? I don't think so. Uh, don't stick around. Give Schwaller the uh, opportunity to try and get around that guard now. Or he'll peel it. Yeah, okay. So he's going for a blank end. Well, blank of the first end's not bad. Keep the hammer. Yeah, the second end. Yeah, that's what most people like to do. Get that yeah. first end over with a blank. Then you got four hammers to three. And even ends. We watched the uh, Schwaller team play last night. They played incredibly well against Team Sluchinski. Yeah, they were playing quite well last night. The sweepers were uh, judging the draw weights really well. 
team was hitting well. They were, they were doing everything well last night. I expect them to keep it going this morning. As we were discussing, it's it's hard to play great three, four, five games in a row. It's like golf. You go out one round and you go, oh, I got this figured out. And then the next round, 95. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Happens to the best of us. I expect them to play well today. Same with that thing. They, uh, they've been on the ice for a couple of weeks now. Team's starting to gel, so I think they're uh, gonna have a. They've had a strong sh showing so far this weekend. Should be a great matchup for us today. Yeah, John's one of those curlers where when he's on, he's unbeatable. But he has too many weekends where he's just just off. And uh, if he could uh, make himself a little bit more consistent, he'd be a lot better curler. But like I say, when he is on, there's there's no beating him. So looking like a blank end here in the first. See another hit by Schwaller. And... Pretty typical. Yeah, a few rocks in play early, and uh, was a chance at a deuce. But one miss there, and now we're getting the, the blank end. Yeah, they they made the hit and roll, and then uh, Schwaller's team made the run back, but rolled out. So John decided to. Blank, and you'd see. I think you've seen most teams do that. Yeah, I think so. Because even if you make the come around, they they still have the, the run back, and all of a sudden, if they make it, then they're buried. That's right. John, John, drawing to the open wing here. Schwaller hit and rolled out. So this is nice for a skipper to get a free draw first end. Get your feel. Always like that. Yeah, get drawn, your feel early for draw weight. And... Draw to the wing, just in case he comes up short. Like you see a lot of teams draw to the middle to, to get that because most of your draws will be to the middle as a skip. I think they're taking it through now. A little heavy on that one. Yeah. All right, so Schwaller's going to throw one, looks like, to the wing. Make the blank attempt uh, maybe a little tougher for John. Half it, uh, no one's throwing in. Usually you see him throw it throw it in the middle and then make the roll a little tougher, right? Got to roll the whole length of the ring. Yeah. Sometimes way wide is tough, too. That's right. You get on uh, some club ice where the outside, outside in is very straight. Yeah, good shot oh, there. Yeah, yeah. Shoot. A couple early draws for both skips. That's it's always nice. Get that feel. This is a big shot now. You've played the whole end or second half of the end to, to get the blank. Yeah, you want to make sure you follow through here. Keep that hammer, keep the keep the momentum. Sports is a very mental game. You have to be able to shake off bad things and don't get too excited about good things. Try to stay right in that middle zone. Yeah. You can keel and yeah. not too many ups or downs. Get excited when you win the game. Yeah, that's right. This looks good. They're just cleaning it. Yeah. Nice shot. Back so, good start for the Epping team. Like first end and keep that hammer. We'll see what uh, Schwaller does next time to start off. Top four or guard? I'm gonna I'm gonna say a center guard. Even end, yeah. Even end. Throw that center guard might see John throw the corner and go around.
Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next curling stadium. I think we're back now live, second in action, semi-final here at the Alberta Curling Series event in Leduc. Epping with a good first end blank. Schwaller with a center guard, Epping through the corner. Looks like Schwaller's gonna throw a, a tight center on this, Don. Yeah, he pretty well have to with that, that guard being so high. Any walk around that can be easily taken out by the Epping team. So this should be an interesting end. Usually when there's a high guard and a tight guard, it means there's going to be rocks in play. Yeah, I would I would think Epping's going to press a little harder for his deuce here, second end. Yeah, John's very aggressive usually. Always, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're not scared of anything. They they like rocks in play, and with a hammer, they're, they're trying to get that deuce every time. Yeah, and sometimes too aggressive. Gets himself in trouble. When he's playing well, it doesn't matter. You can make any shot. That's right. When you're a little off. Be trouble. So looks like they're pretty happy with the weight. Lots of room. And that finishes a little bit, I think. Oh, that's seven eights buried. Yeah, that's a good shot there. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Top eight. Schwaller so gonna put a little bump this behind the T line. Yeah, it's not quite the big swing like you see on the, the slam ice, but it's very fast. Yeah, speed's been quick all week. I'd like to see a touch more curl. Um, but I think this is still makeable. It's gotta gotta throw the right weight. Yeah, we were talking with the ice maker and he was saying the plant takes a while to to get up to performance and usually three or four ends after that it'll be really good it's more cool. yeah very challenging with the weather we've had here in Edmonton it's been pretty warm oh this looks good yeah it's real good gonna get a buried and tap it back yeah that's a great shot and that's something to remember too like you don't have to take your walks out all the time Later on, then you can freeze that rock and get yourself out of trouble, maybe. Yeah, that's right. You don't have to eliminate them. The ones behind the T-line are sometimes your best friend. So I think going to go uh, top four here. Should be looking for about uh, almost a 15, you think? That's what uh, our buddy uh, Matt was telling us, the ice makers. It should be around a 15. Yesterday, it was 15-1 pretty well all day. This way is coming home is a little bit slower than going away. Talking to some of the curlers, they're saying two, three, four feet. Faster going away from the Yeah. Land. Yeah. Right. This one's hanging out there a little bit. Looks a, yeah. little, a little heavy. Just gonna 
sitting right beside the other one. Yeah, that's, that's a miss for Epping there. Yeah. Schroller gets a good one in here, and uh, Epping will be chasing. So a lot of times you can even think, well, it, it, it could still be a blank. This sand is not looking like a blank. That red rock, unless something happens with that one, that's going to be tough off to get out. Yeah, I think if uh, Schwaller makes a good one here, you might see Epping run that uh, tight center back and open things up a little bit. So now you got a decision to make. Do you go to the back ones or do you go top four? Get shot rock. Yeah, I think if you're top four, John's playing the run back, and if you, if you freeze at the back there, then John's got a couple options. Yeah, follow it down or still play the run yet. And then John's got the same option. That's right. Looks like they're playing in the back one right now. Yeah, when they, when they get two in there early, it's usually a little bit safer. Maybe get one frozen here and take away the big end. Yeah. Although, still could be a big end when they have second draw. Speakers like it. They're off and on. Line looks good. Line is good for sure. They're, not, they're definitely not tight. It's 15 1 on that one. So it should be good, but... Yeah, 15 1, top four. And 15 1 the other way would probably be button, right? Button. That's right. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to see the, the run box now from John. Try and open things up here. Make sure he scores. Don't want to give up the the steal on the in the even ends there after you had a good blank in the, on the first end. That's got some well, heat on this one. A little, little wide, wide, I think. Wide there out of the sand. Yeah. yeah. Just gonna get the one it looks like. Oh, look at this. Schwaller with another bullet in the rings. It makes things interesting now. Well, he's got a few options. He could, he could throw another center guard on that. Or come to the, it looks like they're going to play the back one now. Or he could even make the double if he wanted to. If he really wanted to, yeah, that's right. Yeah, make the double and have four counters. Uh, double's tough, but I like this call. Freeze the back. Puts a lot of pressure on John. Yeah, they're still in trouble. You make this shot. John doesn't have much. He's got to... Got to rip that center guard again. Again, yeah. And slowly get himself out of trouble, right? That's yeah. Open it up, and right now John's just trying to have a shot for one. That's all he's thinking. How am I going to score one? Two would be a bonus right now. Yeah, sometimes discretion's a better part of valor. Yeah. Oh, on it early. Looked a little tight too out of his hand. I think they're playing the guard now. Yeah. It's good communication with the sweepers there, letting letting Benoit know exactly where it's gonna stop. It's gonna be tight to the rings. That was 15 6. That's not a bad miss. Yeah. No, obviously not where they're trying, but. I think I'd be playing the red double, not the, the one into the reds on the side there. The uh, double the red guards? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's more dangerous. He's thinking about... Really, that's not really hurting me, those two rocks. I think he's just trying to open up a turn for his draw to, to get that intern side open. That would be his draw for one. Yeah. But if you miss this... Whew. Someone's got to make a shot here. Yeah. Hard out of his hand. A little tight on that one. Get lucky. Oh, oh, yeah, you got lucky on that got one. Really lucky. <laughs> it's a good shot. Look at that. All of a sudden, they're sitting two now. Yeah. Wow, what a turn. Still, it looks like a, a force right now. Yep. Controller gets one in there and should be able to. One. It's a big shot here yeah, in this yeah. annual. The other team just 
We got a little lucky. They're sitting pretty good. You got to come back with a with a good one here. Yeah, the steel's definitely still in play. John's going to have to draw the the white of the button. That didn't sit right now. Intern side draw now. First one of the of the end here. What do you think? Around a fifteen. Probably fourteen five. Oh, little fifteen little with full sweeping. Full sweep. Oh, they think it's heavy. We're watching it. Tell. Still on full watch patrol. It's 14-5. So it should be back to it. It should be back eight on its own. Okay, that's a good shot. Got it in there. Bring up that back yellow one. We're planning two, three shots ahead there. Three left. Yeah, a little, little bump. Push that yellow to the back. And uh, stay frozen. Stay hopefully. frozen on it. Slightly on the high side would probably yeah. be ideal. Only good thing for Schwaller here is the airplane behind a T line. So we'll have uh, one more opportunity to uh, get a good freeze in there. On the center line here, might see a little curler. We saw this last night on the center line in the early ends. A little pressure pebble and the rocks are taking off. And now it's on the line, so it's going to be... This one's going pretty good now. It's by. Got a really good look shot. Yeah. Oh, good shot there. And it's nice to keep that back yellow one in play because they can always jam on that one. Keep the, if you're epping... Keep your rock and play. Well, what's Benoit going to do here? I'm playing a hit. Are you trying to blast this? Can they all go? He hits the yellow on the on the high side. Side yellow one goes up there. Well. Angle. See if we can. Uh, yeah, I think they're throwing some heat at this. I think that's the goal. It's that ice, yeah. Ben, while we were talking about this uh, last night, he's one of the best at throwing the high hard one. High hard with accuracy. Yeah, he's super accurate with it. Nah, he's definitely back. Much. Set it back. Trying to get a little bit out of it. I'd like to spin up and up. Yeah. Advantage jumping. Yeah. There's... Good shot here, and he's going to get his deuce. I think. Yeah, if you if you make this perfect. They almost have to hit the open one and concede. And concede, too. yeah. Try for the hit and roll. Important not to go deep with this and leave a double off the side. Top four. The idea. Yeah, the idea is to get it to where if they make the hit and roll, you're still shot. That's right. Find that spot. Looks like, uh, yeah. Full four, maybe, maybe touch and button. Yeah. To close. take away the hit and roll. Probably 14, 14, five was back eight, so 14, eight, 14, nine, probably looking for. But you can't be too deep because then you give them a double and then you're forced. So it's very precise here. So it should be close if they're just, just watching at it. Now. Close to heavy is what I'm looking at. I always look at the sweepers and they'll tell you where the rock is. Now it gets to the middle, it should slow down a little bit. 15 2 on that. So we're going to have to go to get that full four. Well, they watched it a little, a little too much, I think. Yeah, they got, they got caught by the middle, yeah. as you were saying, Teddy. Yeah, a little fresher in the middle there. Well, what are we going to see here? I think we see that hit and roll, like, we're, you, know, like you mentioned. Yeah. They could get it right under the yellow on the center line. It would probably be ideal. It'd be a tough top on. Yeah, try not to leave in a spot where they can hit their rock and lie too. Get the deuce. Just to show them an inch on the uh, the left of that rock on the center line as we're looking at it. Be a tough two. 
Last rock here in the second end for Team Schwaller. Trying to get the trying to get the girl. Oh, she'd be a nose, I think. Knows it best. Yeah. Wow, what a turn of event that end that end was. Oh yeah. It was looking like a force to a steal. Now it's an open draw for two. Funny how that works out sometimes. Yeah, they got a little lucky on the run back. But you gotta take the good with the bad. That's right. So a hair wider than his last draw, somebody else's last who threw the draw around there? The third? Uh yeah, well John just threw this draw. Right? Yeah, so you'll have to be so just you, a hair. Just a little different ice. Might be a little quicker out here. I would expect it to be a touch quicker. Same same throw he just threw with a touch more ice would be uh, yeah. pretty good. A little in out, so it should ride nice. That's what I as a sweeper always look for. That in out action. If you didn't see that in out action, I'd be on it right away. Right. Because you're not on the path you want to be on. This is definitely a little yeah, That's 14 1. They should be on that and play the tick. Oh, oh, they had it. They anyways. got lucky. They got yeah. lucky there. Score a two, second end for Team Epping. Sven Michel, so how you, or Mikel. Sven, yep. So we're back, third third end here. Big score of two for uh, John Epping in the second end. Schwaller with the hammer. Big shout out to uh, Global Machine and Supply for sponsoring the event this week. Jared Moulet helping us out with that. So we should see Schwaller play pretty aggressive, get that deuce back here, Don. Uh, expect to see a corner guard and maybe go around it right away. Yeah, oh yeah, they'll be uh, definitely aggressive to the max here. That's one thing I remember playing with Kevin. It was, as soon as we got behind, until we got ahead, it was aggressive to the max. There's no, you couldn't breathe. It was just, it, yeah. it was just a tough shot. Every shot, freeze or run backs or. Yeah, you got to get those points back as quick as you can. And you need a good team to play that strategy. If you're not, if you have a team that's you know not playing well that day, you're going to be in big trouble. Yeah, especially at this level yeah. when you're uh, playing against these top teams. I mean, these are two of the top teams in. Uh, well, we got one of the top teams in. In Canada and John Epping and the number one team from Switzerland and one of the best in the world in Schwaller. And a fresh off our victory was it last weekend? Last weekend, yeah. Schwaller with the victory there. We got some we got some work work to do here, down to so I'm gonna go around that one. That's a nice by Epping there. Frees up Schwaller to Oh, he's going to play the freeze there. Interesting. Yeah, it's not a bad call. Yeah. He could go around the guard. Well, John wouldn't be able to peel yet. If you make this right, it'll probably take him two shots to get rid of this. Yeah, you make this one good in there. The 
just gonna run through that fresh pebble in the middle again, see what happens. So it's got good weight, a little wide actually, wide and heavy. That's gonna move over a bit. <clears throat> That's a pretty good shot. Very nice really shot. Good shot. Let's see Epping just play a bump on that. Yeah, bump it back, switch the angles up. Not much ice to take in here. No, that's, that's a little less curl than we saw last night for sure. Yeah, Pat Jansen, he, he played third for us last year at the at the Briar and he did a really good job. Yeah, he played really well. Really good sweeper too. Oh, as good as anybody. Judging and power. That was a good shot. Would have liked a little more angle. Those are still lined up for Schwaller. Goes right onto that yellow. You can play the hit and roll and kill uh, kill that uh, red or yellow top four and hopefully roll a shooter under the corner. Shot is just to go straight around. Just the corner. straight around, yeah, yeah. Leave those angles. I think that's what they're going to get. It's a smart call. See what John does. He stays aggressive or he peels the corner and tries to get out of it. I think if he can see any of this red, he'll go after it. And uh, if he makes a good one, you might see him play the run back on the corner guard. Lots of room here. Way too much room right now. Yeah, a little heavy too. Yeah, we're trying to go back now. Trying to get, get a barrier. Yeah, very It's half open, should be able to tap that out. Oh, he's just gonna to freeze to it. A little freeze, a little tap would be okay. I wanna be light on this one. I wanna make sure you're there. Yeah, you, and you gotta be committed oh. to the shot you call. Like if you play, a, you're playing a freeze and you, your thrower gives you back 12 to hack, all of a sudden you've got a completely different shot and you might play this. That's right. Sweepers like it. A little bit of a brush early, but it's pretty good. Line looks great. It's right on it. Just keep it clean now. Yeah. Yep, another good shot there by by Pat. Oh, yeah. Really good shot. And he took it out actually. And if you can get rid of the opponent's rocks, sometimes it's it's better than keeping them around. Late in the end, something crazy might happen. All of a sudden, that little nibbler is going to kill you. Let's see Schwaller play the similar, similar kind of shot here. A little freeze, freeze tap. So again, we're back to who blinks first here. Who makes the mistake gives the other team the advantage. Looks a little wide, a little hot. Definitely has to curl. Hanging out there a bit. John's going to try and sweep it. A little bounce, yeah. yeah. It's not ideal. It's wide open now, so they do whatever they want with it. Might see him try and dip the. They're just going to nose it, or are they going to try and roll the center? Yeah, if you hit it just off the nose, get rid of your own is probably best. Yeah, and roll underneath that other one. Sometimes you need Klingons to force, but you've got three Klingons already. already. So. Yes. Yes. On it early. It's curling on him. It looks like it oh, might be on the corner guard here. This is all over the corner. So soft out of his hand, and that yeah. took off. So that's the first blink. That's the first blink. See what Schwaller can do if he can take advantage of it. Just got to make a play on that uh, yeah. top one now. 
hey, you do it right, and, and John's not going to have much. Just off nose and try and uh, try and roll your shooter to the wing and kill the one in the back. See what they decide to do here. Yeah, so those rocks are pretty close together. Could be able to play with a little bit of a drag here if you want. Usually the rocks are, if they're about three inches apart, you can get drag. Yeah, those are close. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be a ton of drag on that. Yeah, that's, that's maybe two, four inches. Yeah, maybe? I think four that's five. a little too far apart, but it's more of the angles now. Yeah. I don't know, those would be pretty close. I think so. Be a good shot. So that's what they're playing here. And then John will have the rays on the yellow, maybe, but he might go on to his own. I think it's important to get the roll the shooter because if you leave the shooter on the center line, don't leave a double there for John. Yeah. Uh, one thing I learned from playing a couple of years with Pat Ryan, he always said if the other team misses, you got to make them pay. That was always our thing. Make them pay. Because if, if they miss and then you don't make them pay, then there's no pressure on this next one. But if you make them pay every time they miss, then this is, I don't know. This is on the wrong side here. Might be okay. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's a pretty easy shot for John now. Not what they wanted. What's John do here? Does he play the... The yellow run back, or is he? I think he's going to play some kind of run back. He, he might not be shot that. that yeah. Hit that one. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. No wonder he's not terrible either. Yeah, that's a good call. I mean, the nose isn't bad. I mean, Schwaller noses. John would have to run the run double. That's a good call too. Roll that yellow one in front of the red and, and make uh, make Schwaller's next shot even even tougher. He's quite not a re the option. He's gone back to plan A. This is tough when you're playing a good opponent and you know they're gonna make their next one. It's it's what do you to leave them? It looks like they're hitting the hitting the open one right now. Watch the release on this one. Back a bit, but still, it could be a bit more. Yeah. Jansen's on it early, this trying is, to hold it. This is tight again. Yeah, this one's taking off on him. Just not quite getting those back, but it's going to be all right. Okay, it's still even Schwaller. Schwaller shot, shot rock now. Yeah. And throwing, so advantage to those guys. That's two blinks by the third. They're holding for one. This is tough. Well, options there for Epping team. A lot of yellow raises. Yeah. Where do you go with this red one to not give them a, a raise double? Back four, they're talking. Uh, yeah. Another team discussion here. They're going to think this one over. The other semifinal out there this morning is uh, Team Lee versus Team Carruthers. That uh, game's also being live streamed on the Alberta Curling Series YouTube channel and, and Curling Stadium. You can check out that action. Two nothing for Carruthers right now, it looks like. Two nothing Carruthers, playing the third end. That was a, a steal of two for Carruthers. Yeah, we had a good field here this week, Donnie. Uh, a lot of the, a lot of the very best teams in Canada out here. A lot of new teams, a lot of new shakeups, some interesting combinations. You see uh, Jason Gunnelson's move to third, playing for Reed Carruthers. Looks like a great, great team. 
I think we'll have a lot of good chemistry. Those two in the back end. You'll see some teams will gel right away. Some teams will take a little longer. You have to be patient. You know, there's new, new teammates to get used to, their styles, their mannerisms. and Yeah, it's uh, how they react. How they react under pressure, right? Yeah. What, what's everybody's tendencies and figuring that all out. So you'll see these, these teams playing quite a bit early in the season, trying to uh, work out all the kinks. And... Okay, I think we got a decision here with the Schwaller team. Looks like they're going around uh, back four. Is that the back four kind of half open? Yeah, make them make a hit and roll. Again, if you can go far enough, they can hit their hit and roll, leaves them second shot. That's where you want to put it. Yeah, I mean, ideally, you you, know, you full eight somewhere that if they do, if Epping plays the yellow run back, your draw, this one you're throwing now, would be all counting. It. So, yeah. like just touching four foot. Would be would be pretty good, wide open. Make them make a really good hit and roll. So thirds, last of the third stones. Oh, the, going hard. The Schwaller here. Looks a little light. Okay, okay it's running. Panic! Oh, oh panic there a little early. Bit of panic. Yeah, this is definitely deep. She gone. She gone. And that's a spot where a you're not going to get to the middle, and B, it's quicker going the other way. Yeah, they might have got caught in that. Wow, big miss there. That's where that's where you have to be careful with your split times. You know, your split might have told you that it's light, but you're on a different path and going the quick way. That's right. Well, see what John plays here. He's got uh, two different run backs. Lots of uh, lots of options for him. Yeah, the one in the middle is. Probably yeah, but there's more risk to it. Yeah. You jam on the back one. You hit the outside one. Kind of like that. Anywhere high. Nine. At least three. Looks like they're playing the middle one. Yeah. Just, uh, just off nose, looks like. There's more reward to this one. Yeah, if you can keep the one you're, you're raising tucked underneath your shooter, be a, a really good outcome. We can draw full four. Things first stone and then third end. Gonna put the pressure on Schwaller. In turn raise. Oh, the outturn, outturn. Wow. Perfect negative ice yeah, that... Oh, you got lucky. Okay. Yeah. A series of uh, half shots and a couple misses here. Oh, no, Nobody's looking. really taking control of this end, so opportunity here for Schwaller. He's looking at the blank. Which is his... This is uh, Benoit's first shot That's here. First so. Off. If the triple's there, I think we're probably going to go for it. Well, I think it is there. Probably three quarters of this rock. Yeah, and he's got the weight for sure. Oh, yeah, he can throw it. Didn't see a blank coming this end. Yeah. A lot of rocks in play. And, but that's what happens. A few misses by both teams and one good shot here, and Schwaller could get the blank. Striking on. Looks pretty good. He's got it. Get the back one out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great shot. That's the advantage of throwing heat. Yeah, that high hard one sure comes in handy. I prefer the board weight doubles. <laughs> Whatever you make. I that's mean, right. Back in the day, Wernick, he makes so many doubles where the both rocks wouldn't leave the rings. Good enough. Good luck, yeah. <laughs> I think he's going to try and put this in a, in a tricky spot for him. 
I'm, I'm gonna try and tuck a piece around that yellow. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Looks like that's what they're trying to They're more difficult. Wait, looks good. They might be freezing to that yellow now. Oh no, it's still a little wide of it. Very close. Oh, he's going to freeze to it, maybe. Oh, he's going to bounce a bit. Yeah, kind of caught in between there, That's I think. Pitch, yeah. Oh, man. I remember one briar between uh, Howard and Martin. There was a series, of, and the, the rock was where that rock was. And there's a series of four just unbelievable shots by the skips. Like, you've got no room. And all four shots, and all four shots were made perfectly. It's just amazing. All right, last rock of the third end. Blank attempt here for... Team Schwaller, a little wide. They're sweeping it. Oh yeah, he's gonna get, he's gonna get a piece. Oh, just got enough Lost there. Enough, yeah. Blank in by Schwaller. Okay, didn't see that coming, but oh, great shooting! They again. take it. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. All right, semi-final action here, Alberta Curling Series, live in Leduc, Alberta, brought to you by Global Machine and Supply. Team Epping up 2-0 on Team Schwaller. Schwaller with a hammer here in the fourth end. Looking for his deuce to get back in this game. Starting with the corner guard. Going to see uh, Team Epping throw up the center on the one top four here, most likely. Going in the rings, top top rings are called for. The other semifinal out there, Reed Carruthers versus Team Lee. Check that out on the Umber Curling Series YouTube channel as well. This looks a little light. We're trying to go top rings here. It's like plan B. Just a straight center guard. That's a good shot. Let's see. Schroller might uh, might chase that a little bit. If they catch the center guard and rolling behind the corner guard. It's not a not a bad a bad play either. So a little back line, back line top here. Yeah, anytime you're chasing a rock, there's always a, a plan B. Yeah, you got to throw the right weight just in case you do chop, yeah. right? You, you, your shooter sticks around. If you take that top one, you can be behind the corner guard as well. That's right. And then that walk on the four foot's open. You just can't miss that's, this one. That's really probably the best shot, isn't it? Yeah. Pick, pick the center and roll yeah. mine. Now you got another corner. That's right. Or he's by. This will be pretty close to nose. That's a fine shot, too. Yeah, that's a great shot. Tap that into the open back eight. And again, keep it in play. Yeah, no need to, you know, you see a lot of teams that throw hack or something like that, trying to get rid of that rock. And you don't need to. You just need to tap it back, keep your rock in front of theirs. The ones behind the T-line are helping you when you've got the hammer. Yeah, there's always a chance for a jab. Any, like, not maybe not now, but later on in the end. That's right.
Yeah, always when you're behind, all the rocks and play are your friends. See, this shot here by John, he's trying to the hit and roll behind and just looks like a jam, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a very tough shot. Yeah. What else could you play here, Teddy? What do you think? You could play a, it could play a similar shot that uh, they just do and, and get to the nose and just tap it back, yeah. right? And keep it rock in front. Because yeah. even if you make this, Schwaller's probably freezing to you behind the corner guard. Yeah, the, the play behind the corner is what Schwaller wants. Yeah. This looks like a jam here. Yeah, you see that coming. Yeah. Oh. Our, our spidey says we're tingling. <laughs> they were tingling, yeah. They were tingling, Teddy. We... Game's a lot easier from this side of the glass, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you always think you can make everything, too, when you're out there. But sometimes you don't have to. Just set it up. Schroller's Patience. The, that's right. Schroller's got a tough decision here because it's the same series of events. It looks like the same kind of shot. Yeah. It looks like a jam. Yeah. So they're, they're looking at something else here. I don't mind this outturn. The only option just throw it behind the corner now. If John, John wants it to yeah. hit that back red one, you just play the double on the center line and roll behind the corner. Great call, Teddy. I like that. Yeah. So go around that corner now is not a bad idea. And that's what you're doing. Yeah. Great minds think alike. There you go. You don't have to be shot rock, second shot even. You see a lot of young teams are always trying to be shot rock all the time, but you don't need to. Always thought you want to be shot rock on your third's last one. Yeah, that's when you don't need to think about it before then. That's right. Just be patient. And the better the team you have, the, the longer you can wait. Right. right. So that's pretty good. It's really good for line. Got the weight. Got to keep it going here. Yeah, that's, in there. Yeah. that's a great shot. That's that, that buried rock you want. Yeah, early in that's the end. That's your second point. Yeah. yeah. John's recognizing it. He's going to play this double here. And so you don't have to be second shot there. Just get it buried. Make the other team shoot. That was a great call by John. He doesn't need to chase that one on the on the on the forefoot there in the back four. He can always freeze to that later if he wanted to. Well, after the shot, he recognizes that was a good one. So try the double. It's a little wide. Nothing like a jam. Yeah. yeah. It's a mistake. Advantage Schwaller. For sure. And again, like, just leave that yellow one alone for a while. No need to get rid of it. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a very dangerous rock, though. Yeah, I don't mind drawing on the corner again. Sure. I don't mind that. Talking it over here, there's a few options. No easy shot right now on the sheet, so. And maybe you play it with a weight, so if you do jam it, you keep your red one and you can play at the back. Oh, it's a little softer, you yeah. Know? Like just try and push that into the into the 12 foot. Yeah. Looks like they're playing the hit and roll here. They're going to need a house. Half a rock, or thing. A skinny half, like half would be uh, the most you want to hit, I think. Uh, the or the it looks like they're going around the corner. Oh. Hit and roll behind the corner. Looks a little wide right now. It's a curl. He's got nothing. Might touch it. Make sure you get it by. Yeah. Well, seeing some misses today from both teams. Ice is a little straighter than last night. I think they're getting a little hung up on that. Yeah, and you have to adjust. Like I can remember playing lots of uh, lots of finals and big events where you know the ice has been great all week, and all of a sudden maybe a bigger crowd, and it's hotter outside or it's rainy. Yeah, something, some, some one of the variables changes, and, yeah. and the ice uh, gets a little trickier. You have to adapt. The quicker you adapt, and whoever adapts fastest. Usually the team is going to win. This is a big shot here for Matt Cowan. Make this freeze. Yeah, he's missed really a couple. Really put the pressure on Trawler. A couple last end. It's pretty good. Speakers like the weight. Looked a little tight out of his hand. They're on it now. Line's good. 
more weight looks great. It's going to overcurl maybe a little, but that's fine. A little bump. That's a great shot. Very nice shot. Big shot for, for Matt there. Yeah, that's a confidence builder for sure. You just missed your last two. And uh, yeah. I come back with a peach. Schroeder got the nose double here. Hit that yellow on the nose. And yeah, not to get a bottle, I think so. You don't even uh, eat nose. A hair on the high side, I think you're okay. Uh, just, we can't see the separation between the uh, back yellow and the and the red red one. Not much. Not a lot there. Oh, there's a view. Yeah, that's no nope, doubles not there. We're gonna play the same shot. Come on down. That's nice with the uh, the inset there. You can see exactly where the rocks are. Yeah, that overhead tell. is nice. Yeah. They got a good setup here in Leduc. Yeah, a big shout out to Curling Stadium, providing uh, all the background work for the live streams. They're doing a great job, great camera work. Here we go, Schwaller. First, first rock of the thirds here in the fourth end. Definitely not tight. It's a little hot. Speakers are watching it. It's a little little hot right now still. Need some movement. Yo, know, this is now he's been trying to carve it, but just too heavy. Get away with it. Oh, he shot rock pretty yeah, good. Nothing. John can get inside of that though. Good shot. Yeah, you, you have to match everything up here perfect. The weight and the line and the call. It's there, but it's it's a tough shot because it's not curling so much. When the ice is really swinging, this is an easy shot. When the one that's not curling a whole bunch, it's a lot tougher. Yeah, so much is dependent on the release here. I set this back a bit. It, uh, probably not gonna come. And he did give it a bit of a set. Not horrible, but looks a little warm, maybe. Oh, he's ballpark. Looks good. Looks real good. How about peaches by Matt here? Yeah, yeah, those those two great shots. Shot. Good comeback for him from he last Couldn't time. have placed him much better, could you? Is he shot rock there too? Looks yeah. Like oh yeah. Beautiful shot. Well, Schroeder's gonna have to open something up here just to give him a shot for one. that power that he that he has to make a lot of rocks go away you could kill all four of those in the middle but you're gonna leave Epping with shot rock top eight there is he running the uh the top eight one back is that what they're playing I think that's what they're looking at or are they run the, the, the center the guard back okay yeah just across the face on this and uh you should see a few rocks fly You hate running back to your opponent's rocks, but sometimes you have no choice. Yeah, exactly. Big shot here for Schwaller. Good control. Yeah, a little back on that one. Where is it? Oh, oh, lost it. Stick there. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Oh, broom smash. Okay, and good guard here by Epping, and uh, it's looking like a steal. Well, I got three rocks left, but. You throw it in the same spot? Just replace that guard, yeah. I think? Yeah, make them man, make that's a tough shot. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think the center line one, if they run that back, there's a yellow one sticking around no matter what. Either the one they run back or the frozen one. Yeah. So maybe this with this guard, you want to be a touch higher, I think, and uh, make the, the run back uh, that much more difficult. Yeah, this is all set up by two peaches by Matt. It's nice when you're skipping throwing guards all game. Yeah. Guards, good. draws for three. <laughs> that's that's a good problem to have, eh? Yeah. <laughs> all right, 
First rock for John Epping here in the fourth end. Looking for that halfway guard. Looks pretty good. Sweepers are on it a little bit. Trying to keep it out there a little bit. It's over it's curling. Starting to really bit. curl now. Yeah, now it's going to get to the middle and just snap. Watch this curl now. We were seeing that last night too. The center yeah. guards were tough. But if you got to the middle early, yeah. they were really taken off. Well, I think Schwaller, he's probably got half of that rock open. He can definitely get rid of the, uh, the yellows in the rings there. Yeah, like I say, you can get rid of those four, but John's going to be shot and drawing, so you gotta you gotta stay around. You just throw a, maybe a board weight on the nose yep. and just get that yellow to the back forefoot. Yeah, maybe a bit of a wall there. Try to get shot lock here. It's a big right. thing. Right. Yeah. You're you're going to give him an in off, but right now you're just praying to to get your one. A little team discussion here for Schwaller. Get everyone on the same page. The one, the good thing I like about no clocks is the discussions. I really enjoy listening to the discussions, and and everybody gives an opinion and what to do, and and you sort of slowly get to the right the right shot. You wouldn't want to have this all year, but every now and then it's not bad. Yeah, it'd be great if we could actually uh, listen to their conversations yeah. and what they're what they're talking about. Hopefully, we'll get some mics set up for the player mics uh, in the future here and provide that uh, that insight. And that's the thing about sports, all sports now. They're trying to get everything two and a half hours. Like you're seeing baseball making all these changes now. Next year, pitch count and everything. And. Mm -hmm. They want the game to be two and a half, two forty-five at the most. A lot of games are three and a half, three fifty. It's just too long. Oh, it's too long. I don't mind it as a fan, but a lot of people don't have the uh, the patience to to sit for four hours. Hi, hard one here from Benoit, trying to kill everything. That's my pick, I think. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, good shot. That's a great shot. It's gonna leave Epping that uh, that turn draw there again. Yeah, and then it's one of those situations where. You don't want to leave this to a really good team, but you had no choice. You got to get shot rock. That's right. Right. You had to be shot rock there. I mean, there's a there's a chance for two, but it's not a, not a good chance. That's for sure. This level. Yeah, you're hoping for a miss. You never you never want to be hoping for the other team to miss, especially at this level, because you generally don't get too many of them. Yeah. You can't play for a miss. Yeah, Ben Mullins is basically, okay, in trouble, trying to get out of it with a one or maybe steal one of the worst. So probably looking for that uh, 15, is that what we were getting earlier? Pretty close, yeah, maybe a bit more this way. here for this open draw. They know this path. Matt made two beauties here, so... Might be a little bit wider. A little wider and heavy maybe right now. Oh, they're on it. I think they're playing the tap and roll. Yeah, just a quiet tap. A quiet tap. A little wide. Might have to finish it a bit. It's 14 and a half, so they're definitely on the back red one. Oh, that's a good shot. That's a really good shot. I think I think Benoit can play the uh the draw there for one. He could nose it too, just off nose. Just off. Yeah, just T line draw and uh, yeah, just chop off, off kind yeah. of thing. To the button. All depends on what you want. Does he have enough to play a, a hit? Um, it it's a little straight there. I don't Ooh, think boy, you'd want to. Edge on edge. Yeah. You have to keep quiet here. You have to play something quiet. They're looking at. They're looking at something for two here. It's it's tough to see who's second shot there, if it's the yellow or the red in the back of the forefoot. I don't see anything for two though. Do you? No, I don't. I mean, 
they keep looking at that uh, red one on the wing, slashing it over, but that's a thin slash. That's yes. Oof. You got less than a quarter. Got to get your one here. Yeah, you know. You've been in trouble all end. Yeah, just the out turn draw and straight to the button or a little rub off the yellow will work. So that was 14 and a half on the last one, Teddy? It was it was 14, 5, 8. Okay, so 14, to the back 6 one. ish. Yeah. So he needs about the same kind of weight, maybe a little less. It's basically just a draw. Yeah, just play the draw in there, sweep your T line and. Because you don't want to throw it too hard because you might hit it on the nose and not get shot a rock. So you've got to have just T line weight. And, then, and these shots, too, you, you throw it three or four feet lighter than where you need to be. Use your sweeping. That's right. You can't make it with your. If you throw it too heavy, it's just going to run. And you're taking your sweepers out of play. Looks pretty good here. Sweepers are on it now. Mine looks good. Mine looks really good. Needs to curl a bit, I think. Does he got the weight? Does he have the weight? Looks like it. Yeah, that's a great he shot. It was 14 8 on that. Yeah. See, that's using great your sweeper. Shot. Yeah. A lot of times you'll see a team's trying to make it in off and then you throw it too hard and it hangs and it hangs yeah. so just throw throw less weight than you actually need and use your sweeping because you're sweeping it gave you four to six feet that's right Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. Uh, Kier, fifth end action in the Alberta Curling Series semi-final. John Epping versus Yannick Schwaller. So a great shot by uh, by the Schwaller team for one there, Don, in the in the fifth end. Now they're down down two one, playing six or playing in the fifth end, and uh, they got to be looking to try and try and steal one here. Yeah, or force at the worst. Force them to one, get your deuce and six. Yeah, that was some uh, some fine shooting at the end. John missed his guard. That that gave uh, Schwaller an out. There was no shot for two, but he he, uh, he got his one when he was looking at looking at a steal all end. Yeah. So here in the uh, in the fifth end, if you're Schwaller, yeah, uh, a force to one here and, and get your deuce in six. Tied up playing sevens on a bad uh, bad scenario. Yeah, you got the even end. Mr. has gone through the house. This is a big costly miss here for uh, the Epping team. Yeah, and again, it's going away. It's a little faster. Yeah. We've got one off center guard here. We're going to go around it. I don't mind the second center guard here. You? Yeah, the, the, the guard you have right now is not great, but it's, it's tough to get a good guard. Right? It's close to the middle. Yeah, wherever you go with the next card, it'll be a double peel opportunity for uh, throw up and get one in here and then keep going with it. Keep distance between your rocks is always a good thing, too. That's right. You don't get a good guard on your first one. You don't have to put a second one up. You set up a double later. Let me get this one buried. Even back four is fine. Yeah. Just get it, get it in there. That's a great shot. Good sweep in there.
So we haven't seen much of this yet, the, the come around freeze action. Yeah, play to the middle here, which is uh, Schwaller wants. Yeah. I I can see Epping, you know, play to the middle and then start some run backs and, and go for the blank this end. Get that hammer in six. This is hanging. Yeah, it's got some curling to you. Weight's good, though. It's going to hang on to the corner here. Pretty good. So you see a series of freezes now until somebody misses, probably, and then John yeah. will start ripping the center. Yeah, all about the angles now. You can get this across the face of that yellow. Yeah, you always want to try to freeze to the inside. It's tough to do, but if you can get it to the inside all the time, Makes the other team's shot. This is the, tougher. the widest one yet. This yeah, is going to be on the too. outside of this yellow. This is going to bounce a little bit. Oh, no, we'll sit here for John. Get rid of both the reds. Yeah. Now oh, there's some angle for them. Yeah. Maybe even flop underneath there. Yeah, you've got two shots here. You can definitely get rid of the two reds or try to get an inside roll. Now you've got two buried. They're shot rock, but they're in some grief. You might be able to get the inside roll and move that. You should be able to clip that yellow and, and get some action on the back red one. Yeah, it's just have to bump up three or four inches. Yeah, just get it out in the open. Yeah. It's just hanging a bit here. Yeah, they're trying to move it now. This is. It's close. It's looking it's good. It's curling. Yeah, that's a good Very shot. nice shot. Very nice shot. Great shot there by Pat. Didn't get rid of the, the top red when it hung around in the back there. So force opportunity for Schwaller if he can uh, get a few rocks around here. Again, he's not uh, not too worried about removing the rock. It would be nice to get it out. But stay in front of the yellow one is a, is a big thing here right now. Oh, he's close. Very nice it's shot. a good shot. Yeah. Got to keep making those. Keep, keep John having to play in the rings and... Don't give an opportunity to peel that center guard. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that center guard is the, the once, big rock right now. Once that goes, the end's over for Schwaller. See a little hit and roll inside again. Yeah, if you can, as long as you've got some of the, uh, if you can just expose half that back one so they can't get a roll inside, that's a really good spot. Forcing to play the run back. It's like this one's curling a bit on him. Yeah, a little too far, but still line two. Is there a double? Yeah, there's a double there, and probably stay behind the yeah. behind the center. Yeah. So a half miss there by Pat. I guess you don't even need the double. You can just roll right under, right beside that yellow would be a great shot as well. Yeah. Yeah, patience again, like we were talking about earlier. You don't have to be shot rock right away. Got the force lock in the back 12 there right now. So, yeah. Hit and roll underneath. You might see John run that center back. Try to blast things. Yeah. Always play the proper weight. If you're playing a, a double or a hit and roll. Board weight is often a very good weight. So you don't feel, uh, can't go across the top. A little thin. You might have to double. That's a good shot. Yeah. Gets that one buried. Yeah. Well, it's definitely on right now. Yeah, John's going to think this over here. You might see him play that run back. 
Yeah. Or just straight peel. Straight peel, you're looking at the force, right? Which isn't terrible. Yeah, they get, they'll have three in there. Now. This is interesting. Oh, tap it back. Yeah, tap it back behind and apply two. This, if you're swallow, you like this call. You, you, you're oh, keeping sure. your center guard around. This rocks in play. This is a very aggressive call. Big shot here from Matt. It's a little wide. Ooh, that's close to center now. Close to center now. Oh, they've lost oh, it. I look. Just oh, I picked a bit. Grab something. Now they're in trouble. And bumped them in the rings. That's unfortunate timing. Okay, well, let's see if Schwaller can take advantage of this. Do you, do you hit this one and, and roll away, or do you ever play the freeze in there? Yeah, that's definitely aggressive. But if you make the freeze, what do they do? Yeah, I, can't, I don't mind the freeze right now. I think they're playing the hit and roll away. Yeah. Line three. Yeah, a lot of games are often decided by picks. I, I, you know, I've always thought at this level, two good teams, I've always said you need a little bit of luck, right, at this level. Yeah. But then the old saying, you got to be good to be lucky. <laughs> but, a good time to get a pick is when you have the hammer. That's, you don't want to get a pick when... When you don't, yeah. Yeah. Especially if they're lying a couple already. So I'm interested to see what John does if they make this hit and roll. Close, a little wide. He's definitely rolling big here. Yeah. He missed the ground, but I think so. No, rolling out here. It's another miss there. Just too much weight. I really like the freeze there. If if he freezes to that yellow, I'm not sure what John does. It's a pretty good call here. Run the yellow onto the back red. Yeah, open up the middle. Up. Brings your blank back in play. You can run it straight back too. Along with the straight back, because you leave the center guard, right? Yeah. I think this is the call. Yeah. And they're playing negative ice again. You don't see this very often. This is back in the middle when I played. You see this quite often, actually. Yeah, everyone, the, the top teams tend to throw the hard ones. It's set out a bit. Yeah, in there. They're used to playing on the slam ice. And you got to get it back. Well, steal opportunity here for uh, Team Schwaller. Yeah, you could go for the steal. You could go for the force. Steal is probably what you want. Although then they have two hammers to your one. Force is, force is great if you can get your deuce in six. Yeah. I didn't see the call. They look like they were going top rings there. So you're that or just behind the other one, but you almost have a double. He looks good. Yeah, if anything. It's looking like just a real tight center here. Gonna see John the triple there? Definitely there. Or, or just make the double and roll in front of the other one. Yep. He's looking at the triple here. Ooh, playing the triple, if you miss it, you're forced. Which not the worst, I guess. Yeah, double and roll, you're probably not second shot. Or or shot rock, I mean. So. Yeah. But then Troller would have to make a good one, split the rings. You, yeah. you might have a double opportunity for two. Looks like they're they're ripping. They try and try the triple here. There's something else. I mean, you can't go around because they can just run both there and to yours.
Close. He's a curl, though. Damn. Yeah. Oh, now they're in trouble for a steal. Steal two, even. Not careful. Yeah. Bite and button. Or even right on, right on the T line buried would be pretty good. Where's the ideal spot would you think here? I think uh, like half open. So you're guard you're taking away his draw. Like if you go fully buried around the yellow. He's playing the run back, bro. Well like John's got the intern draw for one. Yeah. So I don't think you want to fully bury this. I think you want to protect the pin a bit and make John play some sort of run back. Oh, yeah. That's how you get your steal. And he's got to be careful with the run back because he misses it. That's right. All right. But I think if you bury this, John will just draw the pin. Draw a good chunk of the button for one. Looks light. Sweepers are on it early. And it's draw. We don't just have to wait for it to be a steal of one, which is not the worst. Either. These guys are pounding this one. It should travel. This is the quick, the yeah. quick end. End to end sweeping. This guy, that's great sweeping. Great sweeping. It's a little light, but that's all I could do with, yeah. the, with the weight they were given. Off for one here for, for John, it looks like. Now he's looking to run back. Oh, boy, is that all? Hmm. Go with what you're feeling, I guess, right? Yeah. Feeling the draw. Is there a hole there the yellow could see? I think there's a hole. Does it look like there's a hole there? I can't see actually on the... Now it's in the wave. You can't see the overhead. I don't think there's a hole. I think you can hit either red one first. Last draft to the uh, fifth end here, John Epping. Oh, Run ball back ball for ball. one. Oh, wait. I know there's a hole. Oh, there's great a shot. Good shot. Yeah. Good shot for one. And that's a personal preference there. Do you want to draw or do you want to hit? That's right. That was a good shot. 3 1 Epping after five. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. All right, we're back. Six end action. Team Epping versus Team Schwaller. Team Epping with a great run back for one in the fifth end. Schwaller with a hammer here in six is going to look to get his deuce. Epping started off with a tight center and Schwaller team throwing up the corner guard. You got to think, Donnie, they're really going to press for their, uh, for their deuce this end. Oh, yeah. They got to go for it. Yeah, chances of uh, winning the game down 1.7 without, not very good. And John will probably play along with you for a while. Yeah, if John can get a force here, he's, he'll be looking pretty good. So well, I think we'll see lots of rocks and play this end. Got that one out wide. Shouldn't have a, a line issue with this one. Oh, 
looking pretty good. A little, little heavy, looking like T-line. Oh, stops top four. It's a good shot. I think we'll see Schwaller. Oh, I'm surprised by this that he's not going around the corner. That's what he did earlier. Yeah. yeah. That's wide open raw. All right, they're going to play the top back here. I always thought if you're going to throw the corner, you might as well use it. A lot of times you throw up that corner and you never go around it. It just almost wasted rock. Lots of spin on this one. Trying to get it to curl here now. There it goes. Got to hold the line. Just going to touch it. Oh, touching the top one. And that's what's one thing you'll, th you'll see the uh, a lot of the top teams do now. They uh, they use rotation to keep the rock straight. And Mullet's really good at that. I mean, he goes from four and a half to seven rotations down the ice. Rachel Holman always Rachel, had a lot of rotation yeah, she, on She on uses her five usually at the Scotties. Yeah. And you know, it's it's much easier to keep the rock straight for sure. But you you have to be able to. A lot of practice to be able to get the, the right number all the time. Because if you're trying to throw five and you throw six, then that changes things. Yeah, rock will glide. The more spin on it, uh, the more handle you have, the, the farther the rock will travel. And, and like I say, with, with Moat, to be able to control that, with like, to throw a four if you need a four, right? Yep. Keep it a little, a little bit more curl. So we're getting a scenario here where... Uh, you know, a little miss by Schwaller. Good shots by Epping. And all the plays towards the middle, which is what uh, Epping wants. And that rock top of the wall there, that's, that's a great rock for Epping. It doesn't matter what happens behind, he has control. Yeah, good shot there by the Schwaller team. I think that rock slows him. Yep. Yeah, I think just get rid of it. Everything goes. Probably see Schwaller go around the corner, and then John feel the feel the corner and see what happens. Force will be on you. Yeah. A little tight. Yeah, swooping the hair out of his hand. Right. Yeah, it's a good shot. Going oh, roll behind the corner too. Well, that's nah, good. Good end bound. Something for yeah, like, something for Schwaller to freeze too. Yeah. If you make a good one, you can't get it out. <laughs> so what do you think? Well, we should see the speed be a, a bit quicker going to the wing here. It's usually a touch quicker going on the outsides. So we, you got your handy phone there, ready to go. Yeah. Let's see what we get here for a split. Hard to hard time. I was looking at a fifteen, eh? At least. I would think fifteen. That's one thing we need to remember too, and it took me a long time to figure it out. When you're drawn to the wings, it's a little quicker than when you're drawn to the middle. That's 15-3. With sweeping. Oh, yeah. Little light. 15 was the number. That's not bad. It's a rock in the rings, but yeah, the angle's still there for, for two. If you if you had to make your shot for two there, it's you there. You could make it. Yep. So John's gotta John's gotta be careful with this too. You go around the middle or put a play on it. I think you leave that for now. Maybe you just peel the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Because Schwaller now to, to hit that hit that red on the yellow and roll a shooter is gonna be tough not to leave a double. Yeah. You know, straight peel here for Epping. It's a good call. You could leave a quite a bit of separation if you hit it perfectly. But it's roll to the Left up to the right and roll your shooter way over to the way right. to the right, yeah. Or nose it and hit and roll behind the center. You could keep your shooter top 12. You could ignore it too and go around the middle. Again, there's many options here. That's one of them. They're talking about that, yeah. You go around the middle, John is going to play the run back. 
Boys guarding it. Okay. Yeah, third's first rock here in the sixth end. Okay, still got time. Yeah, yeah, they're thinking throw the guard and, and John's going to peel it. Come around the center a little later in the end and uh, if they happen to miss the run back. All of a sudden. Well, yeah, less opportunity for John to get out of the end. Yeah. It's a recent play if you miss that run back. It should be an easy two or maybe a three. Well, we're having some discussion here. So you go, yeah, go top four. You can play the the red onto the yellow right now, or you can guard. It's a collector going around. You also want to make the team do what they don't want to do. The other team you're, you're playing against, like Epping is wanting to hit right now. They're up two. So if you can force them into a draw, it might be uncomfortable for them and a little bit of pressure and they miss. Swoop is around this one. Doesn't look too bad though. The line looks good. Yeah. I've got plenty of line actually. Lots of room right now. Wait, looks all there too. It's looking like back four. Yeah, back four, back eight. Back four, I think. Okay. No, Held down, come down a bit on the button. Yeah, an open hit for John. Pretty routine yeah, here. Hit all to the side. Yeah. Sit two. I want to stay away from the middle of it now. Yeah. I think now you're going to see uh, after this, Schwaller probably play a play on the top red one there and try and roll, roll something under the center. Yeah. Big shot here, though. You got to make this. Keep the pressure on. Let's watch his release here. Not bad. Should be okay. Looks good. Off and on. Weight looks good. Not going to roll as far as they want, but it's going to no, be fine. Pull it for plan B there, trying to get a little bit of yeah. curve. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. That stayed there. What do you, what's Schwaller got now? Tap. Play the run and try to get that raised rock onto the yellow roll to the middle behind the guards. Behind the guard. I don't know if you can, uh, if they hit the, the red one on the side and try and get the roll. I don't think they're getting shot. It looks like it just rolls top eight. Oh, we'll get into the forefoot. Yeah, you might get back for it. But not the worst. If you knows if you play the nose, you mean. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking with his shooter, if he rolls his shooter towards center. Oh yeah. I think the best he's doing is just full eight. But we're gonna find out here. I think you gotta play this though. Yeah, you could that play that is, quiet little chap and roll in the middle there, but yeah. it's an easy run back for John. Nonic Schwaller, last drop here. Last third drop. Six left. Oh, get something out of it. They're not quitting on it. Oh, it's going right through the field goal. Oh, that's unfortunate there. Oh, yeah. Right out of his hand pick. The second pick we've seen this game. Oh, yeah. Can I see Epping just blast that red one out of there? And then they'll be forced to pretty well. I think, uh, like yeah. Tap, hit and roll. Hit and roll, hit and roll underneath and oh, yeah. hope for a miss on yeah. John's last one. Still a five foot run back. It's not a, it's not guaranteed. Mm 
Return peel for John here. So if you're a betting man, I would think you would pick Capping right now, wouldn't you? To win this game. Like Capping's you... looking solid. Yeah, they've got control. Um, I mean, both teams. Both teams are missing. Yeah. But everything seems to be going Epping's way right now. They've got the momentum for sure. Yeah, I'm just looking at that outside one still. Are they thinking the double? No, I don't think the double's there. No double there. I think you have to pretty well play a... Play the out turn... I mean, you could chop and roll kind of thing. Yeah, the other chance, you could, as long as you're shot. To make them play that. You gotta play the, the run back then, the pick, I think. Yeah. So if you don't get it under, it's a pretty easy pick. Yeah, we'll turn draw right to the to the button and just rub off that yellow, push it behind the T, and then he, I think he forced to throw the run back. Right? The ice is a little, little trickier today than it was last night. So this is a tough shot. Normally this would be pretty routine. It's not curling as much, and the little, uh, little flat, maybe in the middle. Eight seeing picks. Yeah, it's, it's just not good. Oh, come on. oh they left it too long. Oh, he got it high. high. Perfect weight. That's a great shot. Very nice. I almost lost it. Yeah, going to see the run back now by John. This is it. And he knows he hits this, and the draw is going to be tougher for one. So it's a big shot here, too. Sounds like you're really good on runbacks. It's on that center line again. Hey, the center line's been tricky. We saw that last night. Yeah. We saw it a few times today. You'll have to wait maybe to. Oh, on the release. See, a little soft. Like it's going to go. They want to cross it just a hair here. Kind of it, yeah. Some hair on the high side then. Ooh, that's out there a bit right now. Close. That looks good. Yeah. It looks the open, but that's fine. Good shot. All right. We'll tap for one and draw for one for the gun roll. One point ball game with two ends to go. It's it's not over, that's for sure. You gotta make you pretty well have to make at least fifteen out of sixteen of your shots if you're Schwaller here. You cannot afford any misses. No. You need a little help from your friends. I mean, same with Epping here in a one point game. We've seen some misses from both teams, so yeah. might get a good finish. Well yeah, if you get uh, the double centers up. Yeah. This looks pretty good. One point for Schwaller. 3-2 game, Epping in the lead with Hammer going into the seventh end. I think we're in for a good finish, Donnie. I like it, baby. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium.
Well, seventh in action here. Schwaller will be obviously going hard for the steal. More than likely, to, you'll see two center guards. First one's put in a good spot. Probably going to see John go around this one. Yeah, John, or, or tap it into the rings. That's another option, right? Yeah. Draw the open side. Most likely go around, and then Schwaller throws the, the second center, and John probably goes around again. Yeah. And then starts peeling. Yeah. Trying to get that blank. And it's going to be tough for Schwaller because there's not as much curl as you'd like. So tapping those rocks that are buried in the forefront are going to make it tougher. tougher. Yeah. Looks good. Sweepers are on it. Definitely buy. Yeah. Top, top four-ish. Good start to this end. Both teams making their first two. Yeah, that's a real that's a real good shot. That's an important one. You know that slips in behind the T line at all, and oh, advantage Schwaller there if he can freeze. So big shot there. Center guard here for Schwaller. Yeah, you hope you hope the, the ice doesn't go flat late in the game because that, that high center guard is really tough if the ice is flat. But uh, we don't have that problem here. Good shot. Yeah, pretty good separation is what you want. I'll go around again. This one you got to be careful not to hook them. Yeah. This one doesn't quite get buried, and you'll see Schwaller go around everything. Yeah, and there's no run back for John. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, you want to get this one right to your yellow. Uh, up and on. It should be close. Goodbye. I want to see it finish a bit here. No, they're going car hard to carve it in there. See, we've got a bit of a stagger here. I think you'll see Schwaller go all right around yeah, everything oh, yeah. now. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what, what you said. Yeah, that's what you didn't want right there. Yeah. He's getting his, his interns a little in out. Yeah, and then they're waiting for it. Yeah. Then it's not quite getting there. I, I kind of like the split there for John on that shot. And then uh, split the rings. No, no, split the sorry the the tick on the top one. Oh, on the okay. on the top center. Okay. Because he's sitting so good with that first off yeah. off very. <laughs> See what Troller can do here. This is way out there. This, well. is, this looks heavy too. Oh, it's coming down oh, it's and coming. carving. Oh, it's coming hard. Wow. That's a great shot. Really good shot. Yeah. Room for two in there too, as well. Yeah, you know John's not going in, so back four is not going to kill you. This is where your second's got to make some, some doubles. Yeah, double peel here with. Yeah. Uh, that was one of the ways. one of the biggest reasons we won the when I was coaching with uh, Brendan a couple years ago, Botcher. One of the biggest reasons we won because Brad Thiessen made almost every double all week. Good hitter. So, oh, <laughs> so when you got your second making all the doubles, it opens everything up. There's no pressure. And that week, too, Darren Molding made every run back but two. Can you imagine? A whole week making every run back but two. That's impressive. And then Brendan was the all-star skip, and Carrick was doing what Carrick does, great sweeping, great shooting. So Schwaller are going to replace the guard here. We're going to see a series of these. Keep throwing that high guard. And John's going to look to try and make one of these doubles, double peels. Yeah, this is definitely a that controller right yeah. now, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting game start setting up. It'd be interesting to see if uh, a few double peels are missed and high center goes up if uh, John plays that intern freeze. We're going hard to get this over. You're going to get it over. Uh oh. Going really hard. Oh, wow. great sweeping. Wow, good sweep. It's a good thing it's going away, too, because that was coming home. That wouldn't have made it. The extra couple of three feet that is faster. I think John ignores that, though. It's so high. Yes, yeah, so he doesn't go that one. 
Well, what do you do though? Well, they got that stagger in there. It's hurting them. Yeah. Just make a. Do you get aggressive here or do you keep? I mean, I think you still have to peel, peel the center. Yeah. Oh, they're still thinking of running the, the center one. That rock's still hurting you. You want to. All right. See if Pat can make this a long run back. Oh, oh they're uh, going to talk about it. This is, this is a good call. Have another look. They got some options on the right hand side with that red. They could run the red across the top of the yellow and down, and, and you're basically doubling your own yellows off, but you would open everything up. Yeah. They've got an outturn tap on the yellow, possibly. A split on the top one. We've got some options. Yeah, those uh, Chadwick's rocks are, the first one was good, but the second one is pretty well hooped them here. Yeah, and then a great draw there from uh Schwaller team. So that thing in a little bit of trouble. They're going to need a good shot here to get out of it. Even a good shot here, and you're still not shot. You're yeah. still chasing after the next roller off. That's the great thing about the five rock roll, too. Seventh end is huge because a lot of times you, you're trying to force, right? You're trying to force a steal, and you force the other team to three or four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't look like I have this end. What do you like? What are we what are we playing, Donnie, if we're out there right now? I think you can play that, that long center guard. Still run that in there? But that's so tough, right? It's problem is you miss that one and he puts a better one. Yeah. Looks like they're playing the tap on the on the top yellow. Yeah, give him some breathing room, maybe. If you can get that lined up with your other yellow one onto that red, that's that's really good. Just bump it into the open. Kind of wait here, like a like a back eight kind of wait. Back twelve, maybe. back twelve, maybe the most. They're on this one. He's by the top that's one. Pretty good. Real nice, not get on it. Make it finish a bit. Maybe a bit heavy, but not bad. Okay. So there's that lineup. That's well, pretty good. Does it line up though? No, it doesn't it line lines up. Lines up, goes over top. Yeah. Play with double. Yeah, the hit and roll in there. Or you go in again. Problem is the there's nowhere to go in now. If you go top button or top four, the yellows are lined up. Yeah. Yeah, so you, can't you can't really go in right now. I don't mind the the hit and roll off the top 12 one into the one top eight. Yes, because that John could run that in later on. Yeah. Right? So that's a dangerous rock for the water right now. This is great. This is very interesting. A lot of strategy here, a lot of different options on the, on each shot. This is where they run it for this is a timed game. You run into oh, yeah. clock trouble. As a fan, when I was when I was watching, like I, I watch a lot of curling, and as a fan, when when the, the teams call a timeout, I really enjoy that because then you you really get to all four players together, and then you talk, right? And then someone usually has the shot, yep. and everybody went ding. It's like oh, nope. that that's there the is. shot, yeah. Yep. Yeah, a lot of teams, uh, you know, you come down for, everyone gets a look at it, everyone gets some input, and usually you end up uh, going with whatever the skip's feeling, but sometimes uh, a good idea pops out there and you run with it. Yeah. All right, we have to make a little hit and roll here. Smaller. This looks like a 
picked again. Picked again. Well, they might the take their own out here. They, they might take their own out here. They gotta be careful. Oh no, they're taking their own out. Tick. No, we missed wow. it. They got lucky. And that's a good thing there. They kept on that rock because if they let that go, it takes their own rock out. Yeah. You know what? That's the same rock Schwaller's had that same rock pick twice now. Right, so you think it's a rock problem? Um, I would be getting rid of that one. A little late in the game, but maybe there's uh, something on it. He just hasn't noticed, but that rock is picked twice now. Now, all of a sudden, Schwaller could be looking at games four. Yeah, it's a big shot here. Big... Uh, Big change in momentum. Matt makes this, sitting four. They, st they still have that come around. Depends on where, the, how far they roll. Depends where this finishes up. Yeah. Nice set. So it should run straight for a long time. Yeah. yeah I'll I'll try and carve it now. Is he on that top he's, yellow? He's a little oh, he's, he's, it Looks like he's taking he's gonna be a tick, just shaving it. Tick, yeah. Oh, too thick. Oh, no. oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> the old double tick bang. And look at those yellows lined up right to that back red one now. Yeah. This is really trains around. So you got to tap that back, yeah. Maybe even just freeze just to freeze it. Just freeze to it. Yeah, I like the freeze. Tap it back an inch or two, but. Yeah, because those yellows are dangerous for you. The yellows are going on to the, the, the red one in the back four. So your shooter is, uh, if you just get one frozen a little inside of that yellow, it, uh, it's looking pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that hit and roll earlier by Pat Jansen has set, set this up potentially. If they don't put this in the right spot. Yeah, they got to tap it to get shot. So we're going to tap it back uh, a few inches, six inches or so. And so many times what happens early in the end influences what happens late in the end. You might think, oh, it's just a shot. But you miss half a shot sometime, like Chadwick did there with that stagger. You put your, your team in trouble. And now with Pat making that tick, get rid of the stagger, all of a sudden things are looking better. We're on this one. Line, line, line looks good. I would keep my view down. Line looks good. A little, 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 little heavy, a little wide. Maybe a little wide. Yeah, they're trying Need to carve some cars here. And they're definitely carving it. Definitely carving this. Looks good. Almost too much. That's a great shot. Very nice shot. So how's that line up now? The yellows go by the top red one. Yeah, onto the back red. Onto the back one. So that top red one's safe right now. I think John's got to play that same kind of shot. Or you or about running the uh, you now dangerous if you run the uh, run, run the red, red one across the face yeah. across the top of it all yeah looks like it just jams yeah. they're gonna they're gonna go after this one hit roll away yeah this is this is great this is what curling's all about Set. Not as much as his last one, so this should curl a bit more. Looks like he's got a bit uh, back line. Back line weight, looking for the, By the, the hit. Oh. Oh. Get it by, a little rub off that one, okay. So yellow line, one or two. One for sure. One for sure. The back two are close. What does Schwaller do now? Does he have to play off the... Looks like... Uh, that's really, it looks like red to me for a second shot there. It's close though. It's real close. Yeah, he's got to get... got to get it where... It looks yellow rays is taken away. It looks like now they just hit and roll off that yellow anywheres because if if uh, if Epping plays the two the combo the combo onto the red, it's jamming all day in the in the back there. 
If they could hit and roll to the edge of the yellows, I think it would be a great shot. So just past center. Right there, right where the is. You could go back for a shot too. He freezes to you, you freeze to him. Yeah. Looks like they're playing the hit and roll here. You could just straight draw there too. Yeah. Okay, it's a big shot. Every shot is first. Shot uh, first skip stones for Schwaller. Looking for the hit and roll of the center line. What kind of way you figure? It looks like a, just a just hack. Yeah, a little, little firm hack, yeah. kind of. Out. Yeah, that's out there. They're watching it. Yeah, they're going to try and carve this carve now. Early, yeah. It's hanging. Oh, it's close. Oh, it's close now. These are definitely rolling too, maybe too much now. Too much now. Got to sit there. That's oh, a good shot. But towards. Can you get shot by playing that bump? It's going to crash into the back, obviously. Yeah, I think I think John would be sitting shot if yeah. he played those raises. Definitely gonna jam. Yeah, it's gonna jam, but it's gonna get into the eight foot, right? It's gonna probably go off the red on the side and all over to the yellow. Yeah, it's yeah. almost it's almost in a spot, but not quite where you could blast it and spin it out. Yeah, but it's not quite. Not, there. Yeah, if the yellow one was a touch lower, yeah. you could do that. I think John's got to play this one. He should be touching, touching button if he sticks it there and the pressure on uh, Benoit to make a good one. Easy shot. It's just how, how it uh, ends up. It almost has to stick, doesn't it? I don't see, yeah, I, I think you hit, where it is. you hit the yellows anywhere and the, the, the second yellow's not going in. It's sticking right there. They're looking at the draw right now. Looks like the one right there. That would be a shot for two after. You know, if if John plays the, the double, the double tap, and sits there, and Schwaller makes the in off, top twelve and makes that double, he'd be sitting too. I think that's what John's afraid of. I think John's thinking we go top button now, and we always have that double race for two after. Yeah, you got John's got to be thinking worst case scenario they steal one, right? Right. Steal steal two is you do not want to see that. So they're going to play the draw here. It looks like set up shot. Yeah. Yeah, just get uh, second shot right now. That's all you need. Yeah, and then you play the and race. then you play the yeah. Although we're, it depends on how it's gonna how it's gonna jam, where it's gonna end up. The top button here. Well, oh, this is a very aggressive call. I like it though. Uh, I like this one. So what does what does Schwaller do after you make this? Even if Schwaller shot rock, he's basically guarding uh, guarding against the game here, because if Epping will have a shot for two no matter what, the in off. Or a, raise, or a run back. Mm -hmm. So Schwaller might have to play that red raise, maybe. Yeah, and sit two that way. If this is actually, if this is in the wrong spot, you might give him a raise double, and you take away the, the easy run back. Well, it's pretty close. Not light. There it goes. Don't lose it. It's good. It's really good. Yeah, great shot. Very nice. Those yellows still look like they're lined up pretty good. Yeah, it's almost in a spot where you can make the double, but maybe not quite, eh? Although you can get some drag. If you hit thin on the right, drag a bit and spin the... Yeah, and the yellow catches the other yellow and spins yeah. out of there. Yeah, and then the, the red one goes back onto his own red. Yeah. You 
July 1, I guess. Eh? To run the red center back, you'd have to just shave those yellows top eight, though. Yeah. It's a tough dangerous. Yeah, it's real dangerous. I think he hit the he hit it thin, used a use the drag and the uh, drag make and, that double. Yeah. Y one. That's what they're looking at right now. You know, if you if you're if you're convinced the yellows hit the other yellow first and they don't go directly on the red, you could just throw a guard on this. Something top eight. Yeah. And then how does John get two? Yeah. Oh, I guess you can play the tap. Yeah. You've got both taps, right? You've got both sides. I'm not sure what they've decided on here yet. I think it'll be playing to each. Yeah, yeah, I think they're gonna use the drag. This is where you gotta know your angles. Let's see what it, it looks like it's gonna miss the yellow, but using the drag, it'll actually hit the yellow. So it's gonna pull it towards the yellow, yeah. hit the yellow first and spin off the red. All right. You just gotta hope that you don't your red one doesn't go spin out either. Here we go. Last shot for Team Schwaller here. Seventh end. This might be too much weight. Let's see how this all plays out. Here's your drag. Wow. That, that really dragged over. Yeah. And it hit a lot more of that than we thought it was going to. Even Leaving them shot rock, though. Yeah, I know. John had Wow, did that ever drag? Yeah. Didn't see that happen. Actually, now, now I might go across the top. And it's interesting when there's three rocks together. Have you ever tried that? And when you get three rocks together, it goes the other way. The, the third rock goes, goes the other way against the drag, ah. right? Going to see just a soft tap back here for one from John, looks like. Could be, yeah. Brad Thiessen's always experimenting with rocks. That's a great thing to do for, for young, any curler. Yeah. Get out there and, and play around with the rocks and see how they react. And you, you, you'll learn things. Adine was saying that he spins it. If he wants to get more drag, he'll spin it more. More spin. You more spin more, on it. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. More drag. Looking tight. Really got to go on this. He's by. Oh, he ticked it. He ticked it. He ticked it, and still made it. I think. Oh, oh. Great good scrub. sweep in there. Oh, we're, we're, we're fortunate with the rub and, and still got it. But great shot. Four two Epping after seven. Great finish to that end. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. We're back, Alberta Curling Series action, semifinal game, Epping versus Schwaller. Had a great uh, seventh end there, a lot of great shots being made. 
And here we are, epping up 4-2. Schwaller with the hammer. Looking to get his deuce and force an extra end. Slight miss there by Epping. Wanted that in the rings. Ended up throwing a straw center guard. I see another guard here by Schwaller. And really go aggressive for his deuce. Shout out to Global Machine Supply for sponsoring the event this weekend. Great sponsor. Big thanks to the Leduc Curling Club. The serving is great. Ice has been good. Here we go. Corner guard for uh, Schwaller Rink. Really got to go on this one. That's good sweeping. Let's see John go around this uh, tight off center guard here. Sweepers are on it a little early. Line looks okay. Uh, just light again. Not the start they were looking for here in the eighth end. Staggered centers. Troller's going to take advantage of that. And, right off the hop, yeah. Yeah, get around that early. Well, definitely advantage Swaller right here. Yeah, get this one in there, top eight. A little pressure on John and Team Epping and have them chase him. So does John blast those centers? He might peel his own centers, I think. Yeah. There's one of them, maybe. make this one first, though. He's by. And to wait. A little light. Wanted that a bit deeper. Might see John go around that. Not bad. You could hack weight it out of there, board yeah, weight, roll. if you wanted. A little light on the first, uh, even the corner guard, they swept it to get it there. All four rocks, a little light. Again, Don, coming home. A little, a little slower coming home than going away. And later in the game, we get later in the game, yeah. Combination of the two. Oh, I have to have a big set on that one, aren't you? Man? But it's close to the center line, so once it gets there, it should move a bit. It's pretty close. Line's good. That was a good line call there on that one. It's a good shot. Perfect weight too, just enough weight to get out of the rings. Yeah, kept the shooter around, under the corner. This is a great finish to this game. All of a sudden it was pretty boring there for a while, but not anymore. And this end's gonna finish off pretty good with those double staggered centers, out of corner. It's great when both teams have something going. Right? That's right. You, the steals in play, and threes in play. And threes in play right now, yeah. Could go either way. So I'm trying to get one half full. One hard on this one. Mine's good. Got to go everything, it looks like. Just a little light. No, he's in the range. That's the big thing, to get him in the range. Good, good sweep right there. That's a great shot. That's a classic example of quicker for the wings. That's right. right? That looked even halfway over the hog line. looked like to me it was just barely top 12. No one's going to play the run here. Yeah, the scoreboard's dictating this. If it was, if he was maybe one up, he might go around the centers. Play this across across the face or off nose? Yeah, you got to be careful because you could jam it, right? 
This looks like he's missing. Yeah. So we got ourselves a ball game. Yeah. Schroeder's going to go around here. Top eight here would be a, a great shot. Even with that red one. Yeah, I just had a chat with Schwaller in the, in the bathroom, and he was saying, that, because you and I were thinking maybe it's his rock. Yeah. But he said he's used those rocks against McEwen earlier in the week, and they were great. So, so just something on the ice that's so it's catching. Just, yeah, just a little bit of ice, ice problem. A little bad luck there then. Looking for the come around, top eight. We out there. Trying to get some movement here. That's really got to just, just make it even so there's no doubles. Coming now. Ah, great shot. That's well swept. That's a really well swept. I didn't want to take that too far and set up a double. It's a little high. I mean, John, if he has to, can come around that. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's going to go around the, the lot right away. Yeah. See what happens here. They've got some options here, Epping. You can play run back. Yeah. You can play this, the wide right one. Come all the way around, yeah. looking at that. Hit the red one. You could hit the 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 red one on the wing and roll towards the middle yeah. with uh, you know, normal weight. Yeah. Firm weight. Again, there's so many options. It's great. It's that double center early yeah. lead rocks has, has led to this. You don't want to be too aggressive too early because right now. Right now they're only two, right? yeah. You're the, right now you're giving up a deuce, not three. So don't really got to go all in yet and go around everything. I like this hit and roll. Yeah, get rid of one of the rocks. Yep. So you can get one in there. And that gets a play to the middle. If uh, you've always got that uh, run back on the outside yellow for for John. Yeah, and if they go around, they go too deep. Then you can freeze. That's right. Right. It's all about who misses the least here now. A lot of games are one. You can have a, an average to media to poor game, but have a last, a great last end and win a lot of games. Oh boy, this is gone. It's flashed it. Did he just tight out of his hand there? No, I didn't see the release. It could be another pick. It could be a bad release. We're not sure on that one. I think there's two picks each now. At minimum that we've seen. Sometimes there's many picks that you don't really see so much. They're not the obvious pick. Yeah, not the big obvious ones like yeah. uh, Schwaller had there. Now what do you do? <laughs> Where do you go with the third one? Yeah, John almost has to go around now or hit and roll again, I guess. So where do you put it? I don't, I don't know if I go over there. You group any rocks together. There's no need to group your rocks. Do you split the uh, split the rings again? Go wide open, T line with the intern. I don't know if you can get there with the intern. Yeah, and, and I can say this is a cat and mouse. When does John decide? Okay, they've got their three. I gotta go for He's got to go for the steal, yeah. yeah. Looks like they're looking at the out turn come around. Top eight. Top eight. Yeah. I mean, that's a good shot, but I mean, Epi can still throw the intern come around oh, yeah. and be totally buried. Both teams have both turns right yeah. to get to the, the four foot. And that double stagger. Who's it gonna help? Yeah. <laughs> well, this is good. Yeah, three balls in play. A good shot by John later in the end could set up a force or a, or a steal and win the game that way. Yeah, force him to two, not three. Right. Looking for top eight. What do you think coming home here for Steve? It seems to be getting a little, a little slower, right? Eh? 
But this is wider. We haven't been out this wide, I don't think, for, for a long time. So this might be quick. Keepers are on it. Weight's good. You're yelling that's got the weight. See, this is one of those situations where it's a little wider, it's a little quicker. That's 14-4. Should be pretty close then. Yeah, it looks like it's got to sit down. It looks like T-line. Mm -hmm. Let's finish it a little bit. Okay. Well judged. Well judged. John plays this double now. Yeah. 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 If they want to win this game, this shot. This is the must make must one right here, yeah. He's still in trouble for two, but. Although if you make this perfect, boy, it's going to be hard to get it out. Even if you just roll over there frozen, yeah. right? You really don't need to make the double, but. Got to roll. Got to roll. roll. So the first one picked, so you, you might be looking. This is high side. Yeah. This is the wrong side of the rock. That's what happens knows. sometimes, right? When it picks, you get a little, get a little conservative, right? Yeah. Yeah, you got, that's got to be on the inside. Of the rock there. Well, it's going to force Schwaller to group his rocks, though, I think. Now he's lying, too. You throw that out turn again? I think so, because John can... You can play that freeze now to get rid of your top eight one. He's also, got, but he's also got the intern freeze or the intern come around too. He's he has got the same double he just threw as well to roll one in there. Yeah. Or just the straight intern draw to the the back of the button. And if you put it in the wrong spot, it's a really big rock now too, right? So That's he's right. going to make the double. Does Schwaller ever play the hit and roll off the yellow? That's what he was Take looking at there. Take that away. Because that's John's got the the draw out or the, the hit roll out. I think the, the draw's tough right now. I mean, they're both tough, but if you're Schwaller, you got to make it. So uh, whatever's the easiest shot for you, I think you play. Put the pressure on uh, on mapping. Yeah, they're really worried about that hit and roll by John. That's what they were thinking of hitting this on you. If, if, if Schwaller goes top eight, it makes the hit and roll even easier. There's a, a pocket yeah. for John to roll into. You got to be careful with this too, though. If you hit it wrong, that yellow rock that you're hitting might hit the other yellow. And spin down. And spin in as well. well we're going with hit and roll here. Yeah. This is respect for John's hitting ability. That's yeah. what this is. And, and most <clears throat> skips at this level would be able to make this double or hit and roll. I haven't seen the inside out hit played. We just saw a couple of the outside in. They ran real straight. I'd expect to get some movement out of this. Yeah, he usually curls to the wings. Always remember that inside out curls more than outside in, usually. You pretty well take that to the bank. It's close on and off. Need some curl now. Curl, got a curl. Got a curl. Now he's jamming the yellow. Watch that, watch that yellow. Oh, look at this shot. That's Great a shot. beauty. Great shot. That might have just won on the game. Wow. What a change of momentum. I yeah. mean, the momentum's been going Epping's way all game. Rough start to this end for Epping, and all of a sudden, he's looking at three. Shooting yeah. against the game. The leads rocked where it weren't going well. Pat didn't make the run back. The third got a pick, and then the nose. And Schwaller seems making shots. Oof. John's got the run triple here. Yeah. Hit this yellow on the high side, across the face, for the center line red, and we'll straight back, and we might get all three. Yeah. The the middle the middle red the red one top four, be tough to get that one out because of the angles. Then get it definitely get rid of two rocks here. Okay, you need you need definitely need power on this one. You gotta have some weight on this bit. Good throw. Not much longer. Look at this. He's only one right now. So this should curl. Oh, just missed it. Opportunity for Schwaller to sit three again. Yeah, you intern draw. You, I mean, you could go top 
eight to get third shot, but then you're setting up a triple. John's got uh, that that intern to the back button. Yeah. You gotta watch. That's his out. That's his out right now. You throw anything top eight on the right hand side in front of your reds, and you're almost hurting yourself. Because John just goes to the button and you can't get at him. Well, you'd have the double on the off the yellow, I guess, for the win. On the wide yellow. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is when uh, every rock and play is potential damage to the other team. I think you want to sit three here. Whatever that, wherever you want to put it, I think you want to sit three. Yeah, I agree. Do you play an outturn? An outturn draw, tap, just tap the top four foot red one so it's not hooked on your other one. That's not bad. And uh, it's up. lined up to the button yeah. and there's no triple. Yep. Yeah. And probably no probably no double either. Problem is though, if you, if you don't do it. You yeah, lose. you're playing with fire, but you need a good shot here regardless, yep, no matter what you do. John's got the, the double. Double run, no, center no, no, no. lines. Yeah, tough shot. Right now, I'm I'm leaving that for for him. I think I ooh, I don't, this. I don't like this. I, I would want to sit three here. Yeah. This shot's forcing John to play the intern draw to the button. Yeah, like if you go you go half around that yellow one, protect your one that's in the middle there. Right, give him the outside one, but John can't afford to hit that one. It's, it's, you know. Right, but but then if John goes to the button, you can't get at him. Yeah. If you throw the outturn tap on the top top red and just unhook those two, and they're lined up to the button, then John. So how far sure. you would you want to tap it? But you just want to unhook it, so you it's just a what? T line, not even just just unhook the red ones. And give yourself an angle, yeah. Give yourself an angle. That's really good. I yeah. mean, you're. Well, I would I would I would not want to. I don't we'll lie only two after this shot. And the guard is, is like I said, it's forcing John to play the intern. Yeah, to has to. And now you're you're chasing that rock. And you've lost the game pretty well, probably. If you well, right? yeah. I mean you'll have a shot for the win. Well, we'll see what we got here. Again, did they, did they go with the guard? Is that is that what it was? Right, yeah. Okay. So I think, guard. I, think it, I mean I didn't see the final. Line's good for the guard. Pike guard, maybe. This should really curl now. Okay. That's good. It's guarding both rocks. Yeah. John's, it's either the double run or the draw. I, the think, he, I think he plays the draw. Although he's been playing a lot of hits this game. He's had a, an option. It looks looking like a double run right now. If he does the draw on the button, uh, Benoit will have the double for the win. Off, yeah. Off outside. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That double run is such a tough shot, though. Yeah. You got to play the draw, I think. You know, if you play the draw in just full four, right, right beside that red one, I don't know if there's a double there, because if he comes off yeah. the outside yellow, it's jamming into the red one. Oh, Looks like a double, double run here. Yeah. He's been living and dying with the hit. Okay, here we go. Last rock in the eighth end, John Epping. The double run on the center guards. There's not much room there either with that red rock. It's nope. It gives you a guide. I think they did really good thing helping this one is off the charts with the way the ice is right it's now. It's looking wide right now. It's not curling at all. Not curling at all. Easy game. Oh. Easy game. Great shot. Great shot. Wow. So it guarantees himself a tie. Yeah. So Schwaller. Schwaller with the open draw to go to extra ends now. So you got to kind of reset here, Donnie. Yeah. Bring the heart rate down. Oh, and, yeah. And focus on uh, hitting the button here. We've had this shot a few times. Probably looking for 14, 14 6. Yeah. A little bit of scrub. This will be a little heavier, I think, because this is one thing to, to know too. Like, if you don't have to have the the forefoot, 
Well, Swoop was wrong this early, and it's yeah, in the center yeah. line. Yeah, this is what I worried about. This is this is a heavy. They spot. really got to go on this. Really got to go. They're carrying it. He's good. Wow, that's a great scrub. Yeah, especially down the center line there, late in the game. But see, that's why I say, take wide ice as you can, because if you take inside, it's going to start coming way too early. Outside, is you're still in the good stuff. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. We're back. Extra end action here at the Alberta Curling Series. What a exciting eighth end. Great. The seventh end, eighth end. Yeah. Exciting curling. Some great shots being made here. That great be, double run by uh, oh, John there. To see the degree of difficulty on that was 11 out of 10. Yeah. Unbelievable. With the game on the line. Great shot. Here we are, Epping with the hammer in the extra end. Schwaller starting it off with a high center guard, and John's going to play the, the tick shot here. This is your shot here, Donnie. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if uh, Chadwick can make this one. Yeah, he needs a couple of shots here. The last couple of ends, he hasn't been, hasn't been sharp. But this is when you can, you can win the game for your team here. You make two shots, and the game's basically over. This is out there. It's got a curl. Got a curl. He's missed it. Just missed it. Just by. What, do you like the uh, across the face or the into it when playing those ticks? I always like going across the face. Across the face? Yeah. But most teams now go into it. Yeah, it seems to be... different uh, than when I was playing. Right, right. right. So much better now. So much easier to make. It seems to be the just the, the thrower's preference almost. Yeah. Some some teams do it one way. And... Okay, so Schwaller looking for a tight center here. Trying to set up the steal. Yeah, you can roll into the wings playing into it. If it's tight, you can roll, actually roll into the in wings. Is it uh, supposed to cross the face? Yeah, one of the benefits. Yeah. You want that? This looks good. Over curling a bit, it looks like. I'm sure it's, all right. it's not sure. bad. Okay. You'd like to be uh, only guarding the, the button there on the line, but Epping going to go around here. And then most likely you're going to see some peeling going on by the Epping team. Yeah, so just get this in the forefoot. It doesn't have to be buried. Half buried is fine. Yeah, that's right. A lot of teams make that mistake there. Yeah. They're trying to make this shot too good and yeah. they're tight to the guards, but half open is great. Just so they can't get the inside roll. That's right. That's what they got here. This looks wide open. And, and even that's fine. Just got to get to the forefront. Oh, boy. Wow, that's a guard. Oh, boy. Yeah. Making sure can come around that now. They're going to go around the red ones here. I like going around back four in this one. Yes. And more separation with that, with that red, yellow one. Yeah. Too. Back four, they're going to peel the, the top center one, and you keep throwing, and then eventually you can get two rocks behind that tight center. Yeah. The 
This is the end turn here. We've seen a lot of a lot of finish on this side. This looks this heavy, heavy though. Yeah. Really heavy. You gotta hope it stays in the rings at least. And it should, yeah. Mm, back eight, okay. I'm counting that top one, which is important right now. We're gonna see some peels here from from Epping. Just take the single, I guess. Yeah, John needs a little bit of help from his team this end. Didn't get much last end. He, he pretty well got him to the extra end by himself. There's a nice field. Good shot like by Johnson. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know Pat Johnson, but he's one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Just a, a superhuman being. Friendliest guy. Not a very good card player, though, we've learned. <laughs> Isn't that right, Tana? Tana and I and Pat play a lot of cards. Trawler just going to replace that center guard here. Going to see, you know, series of center guards and hard. peels. We're going hard. We're going hard. Oof. Oh, this guy's going over. Great sweeping. Yeah, those high guards are, are tough late in the game. On, on ice, that's uh, a little tricky. It's not going to over curl, that's for Don't sure. Set that one back, it's a good throw. Yeah. yeah it's pretty amazing, easy to make peels on, on good ice. Yeah. Just a uh, little in out motion, not much ice. Run the dead straight. Run dead straight. You can actually even move it back with sweeping. It's floating already. That's right. So what do you think? We're going to see uh, another center guard here, another peel. Yeah. And then when are they going to make their move? Yeah, that's the question. And that yellow rock, that's that's Epping Savior right now. Potentially. If they get one in there, that could be run back. But got to be made. You prefer not to be there. I, I wouldn't want that rock there right yeah. now. No, I I want that rock touching button, or yeah. I'd rather have it through the rings because uh, it's taking away your draw of the button for one yeah. to win the game. Trawler's going to throw the throw the center. John will peel in just a matter of time when Trawler decides to go around that tight center top four. Yeah. And then Epping will probably try and run those reds. Yeah, you always want to have the four foot open as a skip. Might be a bit tighter than they wanted. Well, there's angles there for the double peel. No, uh, I just finished a little bit, but yeah, there's still a bit of a, an angle. I mean, even if you red onto the yellow and the yellow goes back and catches that other red, isn't is is good too? Yeah, that's what they're looking at. Yeah, just get rid of that yellow rock because the yellow's hurting them right now. Yeah. All right, Matt Cam with the again not much feels here. Ball. Right in the middle of the rock. Yeah. On it. Oh boy. This looks tight. Oh. oh, that's fortunate. That's really worked out well for him. Now the rock's not on the center line. Yeah. There's no real center guard. That worked out really well. Well, Schwaller's going to just have to go around this snow. He can get to the good chunk of the forefoot buried. And you don't have to go in yet. You could put another height guard right around that yellow one. But I like going in now. Yeah. Uh, tight guard, and they make a double peel, and, and you're, you're you got nothing to hide behind. Go in now. They peel. You throw a good guard, and you can have John looking at two on his last and have to make a good one. Yeah, I think I want John drawing here. He's making it every hit. All the hits, good. yeah. I mean, John's a, a phenomenal drawer as well, but this game, he's, he's making a, every hit. He's also, there's no overturn draw to the button right now, so Schwaller can get one buried here and uh, have it guarded up on his last. John's going to have a tough one on his last. Yeah. 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 
That's pretty good. A little wide, maybe. Should, should finish. get some finish here at the end. Yeah, it's gonna go for weight. Die too. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Die. yeah, that's a great shot. Fully buried. See the last couple of licks. Like he really got that over in the last foot. Yeah, you might get uh, you might get three here too if you hit this right. Yellow across the the wide red one and send the red one back in and make that double. Good wind turn out this, eh? Oh yeah, there's a almost negative. Oh, close. Oh, good shot. wow, that's hard good to shot. do. Hard to hit that too thin. See another guard here by Schwaller. Yeah, guard, guard that red one. I think it's too early to go around. I think you throw the guard, and if they were to make the run double, then you you still go around that yellow one. We're going to chat about it here. Yeah. So if you go guard, you'll peel the guard. John's peeling. Yeah. Then, and then, then you, you decide. Have, yeah. Do you want to make him draw or do you want to make him hit? Like if you put your rock right in front of that red rock. Top 12. No, not even that deep. Just right in front of it. John's got a tough shot. Yeah, you have a few a few options on your last. You could even throw the intern just biting four foot just off center to the towards the yellow. And yeah. John's got to make either a hit and roll or something really good that way. There's a lot of curl with the intern. Yeah. The intern is edge of eight. The out turn is Illustrator. middle. To three quarter into the, the eight foot. Looking like the the guard here on his first one. Probably wanted at least halfway, hey. Oh yeah. So there's no way to get around it. And yeah. Get it out. And they're talking even leaving it leaving it like a third open to get closer to the center line and yep. tease John maybe to go around go and around tap it. it. And then you'll have more for the button on your last one. You have to have it at least, at least half buried. This is really got a curl. This is really got a curl. Should get there coming off the center. The line looks good. Now they're waiting. Well, it's a good shot. Sit. So what do you do if you're John now? Do you get aggressive here on your last outturn tap, out or do you tap, yeah. play the run back? They've seen this outturn tap a few times this game. They have. It's looking like the run back here. Or are you just straight peel? You can straight peel and hit it into the yellow, maybe. Straight peel. That's dangerous, though. You straight peel, and you'll have a shot for the win no matter what. Yeah. Well, on tricky ice though, right? yeah. it's not ideal. It's, it's good ice. It's been good, but it's not been great. If you go for the chase and you happen to rub the guard, you might you're gonna have a real tough one to score. We're gonna talk about it here. So if you chase and make it, you're going to roll probably a little bit to the middle. Then they'll have the hit and roll behind the yellow one. And then John might have a run back again. But they'd have to make the roll. Like, That's right. Right? Yeah. I'm going to play the run here. As long as you don't miss it on the rolls at the middle side. That's right. Yeah, you want to. Well, the run back's tough because you're going to leave that guard there no matter what to make the run, aren't you? Can maybe hit it here on the high side. Yeah, just a but 
doesn't look too sure of this. And that's a really good guard that Ben Wall put up there. Throw as hard as you can and thick as you can and roll as far as you can. It's looking a little wide. He's very close. close. Very close. Got it. Oh. What a shot. He's throwing those hits well. Unbelievable. I say I want John drawing, I'll tell you that. Same kind of shot here for uh for Benoit. Get her buried half in the forefoot. And John will either have the run or uh, the draw for the win. So I would think he'd play the run again. Right the way he's here. Most likely, yeah. Uh, I think I want to get this one buried behind. Make it fur farther. Uh, like maybe back. go right to T line kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, at least T line. Yeah. Even back eight. I mean, if you really want the guy to draw, go back eight. Go back eight. Yeah. That's a long run. Then. So they got the broom down. It's actually curling pretty good now. This is a good three, three and a half feet of curl. Probably looking again. We're looking at that 14.6 kind of range. You got your timer going there? Yeah. Let's see what we get here. Sweepers like it, just a light nice. clean. There's no big, keep it clean. I always like to keep it clean late in the game. If you're close. Lots of room. Yeah, it should finish. It's 14 and a half. 14.5. So the ice speed has kept up pretty good. This looks like a good shot here. Really good. Right on the T line, fully buried. Great sweep, great Two shot. Great shots by Benoit. John just going to follow him down now. A little yeah. tap for the win. No, it's just straight draw, I think. He's got a bit less ice. His out turn's a little straighter than Benoit's. He sets his back a touch more. And he, when's the last time he threw a draw? It's been a while. Right. It's been a while since John's thrown a draw. All right, for the win here, extra end, semifinal. John Epping, a little turn tap. Let's get a time on this one. Watch this release here. You want to see a little in out. Just a hair in out, so it should be close. This will be tight, if anything, I think. Sweepers are on it early. Line is uh, is out there. Line will be fine. You just need to, oh, this is light. This is light. That's 15 seconds. 15 one. You gotta go. Oh no. So. Yeah, just a little light. That's what I say. That's why I wanted to make John draw, right? If I was playing this game. Yep. He's it's hitting so, so he's well. Phenomenally well. Yeah. What a game we saw there. That was a great hey, game. Teddy? That Whoa. was great. Exciting. I'm shaking here. Excitement. <laughs> great action. Great game. Final is 5-4 for Schwaller in the semifinal. And now we're on to the final. It's going to be Schwaller versus Carruthers in the championship game coming up here at uh, 1 p.m., I believe. 1 p.m. Mount. Well, it's right now. So they're going to have a little break, and then we'll be back with the final. We're at the Alberta Curling Series in Leduc. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope to see you in the final. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium.